tables, I'm going to show you now a few tables in which we see clearly the connection of this here, sabbatically important here, and according to our rabbis, the end of it, Messiah will come, the beginning will be worse. But very interesting, significant table. Few of them, there are many, many more, I didn't know you, and we brought few of them. They are taken from YouTube, which I did, so it might not be so clear, but the idea will come out nicely. And what is important to realize that we are very significant here, we as Jews, we have five, seven, eight, two, about eight months more. You definitely finish with 2021, 22. So let us see now this table, trying to see what it is and what is really the message behind. So what you see is the following. The first thing you see clearly is that it speaks about this here. Bet, Taf, Shin, Pei, Bet. You can see this in red clearly comes out. In its time, according to the explanation we mentioned, this is a time for redemption, really. Then, what more we have in this table, which is very important? We have Messiah. Here, Messiah. And Yavu Eliyahu. And the most important condition for Messiah, we saw, we mentioned repentance, returning back to keep the Torah. Jews, Sabbath, and all the others, and non-Jews, the seven was loss of Noah. So what you see here also, that the Yom HaShvi'i, Shabbat, that on the seventh day is Sabbath, holy to God, sanctified, don't work on it. So this is also very important, but because our Rebbe tells us in the merit of keeping the Sabbath, we'll have redemption. If not, there's a case in the Shabbath brings the enemies of Israel, Amalekite, which should have yeah, we run, is all those. So this interesting verse, you can see it translated, but on the seventh day, you should have a Sabbath of complete rest only to the Lord. I mean, this is for Jews. Jews have to keep it. And it's for them very important condition for Messiah, for redemption. So every Messiah. And then we have very interesting also Messiah again because he's son of Joseph and we are son of David. What we have here also is very interesting. You have here the word eternal, eternal redemption. As you can see it, Geulat Olam, eternal redemption. It means that when we believe Messiah, definitely the redemption will be stable one, uh, eternal one. So altogether, this table, which is very significant, as you can see yourself, meetings, good meetings of the Bet Shin Pei Bet with Messiah and Repentance comes here in very small skip of repentance and Sabbath. Also, this they go together because Sabbath is a day destined for returning to God for repentance. So, a table, as we said, clearly shows the connection of the year 572, 2022, to eternal redemption that we are waiting for. Then we have another interesting table. Now this table, what you will see here, you have really the two dates. You have also 5781, but you have also 5782. Why? Right? Because if you remember, we mentioned, according to the Rebbe Hatam Sofer, it will be the process of redemption really will start with 5781 and will carry on with the sabbatical year, which is 572, which you have here. Now, what is here that you see here in black? Again, Geulat Olam, which is eternal redemption. And we mentioned, we explained in the YouTube a lot, what are these three letters? 
those three letters are an abbreviation of the three words, creation, formation, and action, telling us that this eternal redemption will be all over the, all, all the world. And then we'll have Messiah, definitely. Now, again, we see in the center of this table the most important condition for redemption, which is Teshuvah, redemption. So here you have redemption. So as we said, we have here indication to this period, which starts from 5781, and will carry on to this year's sabbatical and bring us the eternal redemption with the coming of Messiah. Definitely, as we said, the control of us in the end of the sabbatical. Let us see now the second one, also taken for YouTube. And this is very, very interesting. When you have you also in the center, returning on 5782, again 2122, now return, returning to the Torah, keeping the Torah. Now this I did in the time we had still the Delta, yeah, the Delta. And uh, what we see here is that by returning to the Torah, Tshuva, which is also repentance, definitely the same idea, yeah, is the same idea which tells us, perhaps this is what's very important, is that it is in the same line that you have Tshuva returning, and the ear. 782. This is really the long sentence clear that returning repentance will be, and then we'll have Messiah, and again Messiah, son of Joseph, and even if Messiah lives, interesting, maybe in indication Messiah lives in, within us, and you have another Messiah, like Cyrus, we you know. So, what really is important here that again it comes with a plague of the corona. In this case it was the delta, yeah? It is interesting that it comes in verses which tell us it was a plague in the desert when Jews desecrate the holiness and if it is more about girls, the plague came and killed quite a few people. And then then you know the story that Moses took incense and came in. It was really Aaron who took Moses told him Aaron you should take incense and he went into the camp and the plague stopped. Very interesting. So plague delta all comes is because also <laughs> has a mission to bring people to re return, to repent. And we know quite well that two thirds of the Americans seen the in all this corona, delta, and others, hand of God. Only unfortunately, they don't realize that there are seven laws of Noah. The most severe one are not kept, which is abortion, homosexuality. But what you see in this table, it is very interesting because you have also son of Joseph, you know, who will pave the way for son of David. So you have son of Joseph, Messiah, son of Joseph, interesting, you know, next to it. And then the Messiah, another son of David. And Messiah, no, we hope, can be like uh, Donald Trump in the beginning, helped Israel settle, recognize Israel. We hope something like this will come, like Cyrus. So, interesting. Table, as we said, also indicates to the year 57. A2, which is now already 2022. Then we have another interesting table, and in this table we are told, as you know, in our prayers, Jews, every <laughs> prayer, Amida, they send with requests, asking God, Shibane Beta Migdash, Rabbi Ameno that the temple should be built speedily in our time. Definitely, this is what we want. We want speedily 
the redemption. So it's very interesting that you have here exactly this sentence, me, me, ra, be, amen. Me, yeah. When is the redemption? So in fact, in this case, what I told you now is another table which really continues this one, but this one came with a question which I asked. I asked the computer, the Torah, a question. In Hebrew, Matai Ageula, when the redemption? Amazing. I asked a question, when is the redemption? So, what the answer came, <laughs> the answer came here parallel almost. Teshuva, <laughs> when you will do Teshuva. So what is the appropriate time for it? Amazingly, it comes in Tav Shin Pei in 5782, 2022, yeah? So again, telling us that by redemption, keeping the Torah, will be redeemed. Here also we have the word redeemed. We'll have Messiah, son of Joseph, which is really a prime. Prime is the son of Joseph. And then, as we said, Elijah will cut me Messiah together. So you have Elijah here and you have Messiah. So very interesting table in which we ask the question and the answer came next to it, parallel. When will be redemption? When the Shiva, when repentance, as the Maimonides said, that the condition for redemption is repentance. Then the Gemara says, but if Jews would not do tshuva willingly, then God the point upon them, a cruel leader like Haman will decrease, <laughs> put upon them terrible decrees, threaten them in disaster, and then they will repent, return to God. So, so this is what we see here, that the redemption will be when Jews will repent. Then let us see another one. And this is what I told you before, because it's like the continuation. They're telling us that the redemption, which hope, hoping that it will come speedily, like we say in our prayers, let the Temple will be built speedily in our time. And we are asking God that speedily in our time we'll have the redemption, Messiah. So interesting, we have this expression for the prayer, Meirai Bane, by the son of Jesse, hoping that we'll be on this year, 578 to 2022, the year. Then we'll have Messiah, if twice Messiah, you know, Messiah, son of David, Messiah, son of Joseph, unbelievable. Which year? So we have year, as we saw, Tavshin Pei Bet. But again, the condition comes here. Ha Teshuva, the repentance, amazing. Parallel is very significant. We said many times already, this, this table that you see all the Torah, letter after letter, is a program of Dr. Rottenberg, scientist came from Russia, like Professor Ips. Professor Ips showed him this phenomena. He checked it. and. He realized that Torah is true, he became Orthodox Jews, keeping everything, and he himself wrote a very interesting book on the quotes, All is Truth. So, this is a program, and he says that parallel are very significant, and also when you have good meetings, if you have Messiah within Messiah, yeah. So, another interesting table. So, what we saw now, few tables have many, many more. But few tables which clearly indicate to us the importance of this year that we are now sabbatical, 572-2022. And very significant tables which clearly indicate that by repenting, keeping the Torah, we'll have Messiah within us and we'll bring eternal redemption to the whole world. So interesting and significant tables about the redemption 
hopping will be this ear, the vertical ear.